Namaste and welcome back to the B10X, your ultimate destination for mastering the latest in AI tools and techniques. I am your host Suraj and today we are diving deep into the world of AI to learn how you can create your own app using ChatGPT for free in just few minutes. But before we delve into this exciting topic, let me share something special with you. B10X is hosting an exclusive workshop on AI tools for working professionals like you. The link is down in the description below. Stick around till the end of the video to know more about it. Now, 9 rupees. 9 rupees cannot even buy you this packet of biscuit. But what if I tell you that 9 rupees can help you save your job? What if I tell you that 9 rupees can 3x your salary? Yes, this is possible because I am going to conduct a workshop at just rupees 9 on ChatGPT and other AI tools which is highly recommended for all working professionals out there. Let's get it started. We all know that ChatGPT can solve problems, generate content and even help you code. But did you know that you can also use ChatGPT to make an app? Yes, so in this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step process on how you can create an app using ChatGPT. Usually, when you create an app, you need to have a good knowledge in coding and app development. But in this video, we are going to use ChatGPT to generate the code and create a basic app like this. So make sure you watch this video till end because I will also show you how you can convert it into an APK file which you can install on your Android device. To make an app using ChatGPT, we are going to do four steps. First, decide what kind of app that you want to create. Now, if you have an idea for an app, you can tell ChatGPT about it and how it should work. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to make a small game app like Tic-Tac-Toe. So let's go to ChatGPT and ask it to give me an HTML, CSS and JavaScript code for a two-player tic-tac-toe game. You can see we have got the code. Now to check if this code working correctly, let's use a tool called CodePen. So let's go to CodePen and uh, click start coding. Here you can see we have three different sections where you have to enter HTML, CSS and JavaScript code respectively. So let's go to ChatGPT, then copy the HTML code and paste it here. Then do the same for CSS and JavaScript code. Once you have pasted the code, if we move this up, you can see we have a preview of our game. So let's test it out. As you can see, the game is working completely fine, but there are a few things that we can do to make it better. So first off, let's uh, improve how it looks. So let's change the background color and uh, add a pop-up to reveal who is the winner. And also add a button here to restart the game. So let's go to chat GPT and ask it to regenerate the code with the changes we want. So you can see we got the new version of our code. So let's test it in CodePen. And you can see that the background color has been changed. Now when we play the game, you can see it shows who has won the game in a pop-up and it has a button to restart the game. Now if you want to add anything additional to your game and make changes, you can ask chat GPT to get the code and replace them. Now you might be wondering how I can learn to use ChatGPT effectively? Well, that's where V10X comes in. V10X is your AI upskilling partner offering courses specifically designed to help you master ChatGPT and other AI tools. Our expert-led courses provide deeper learning and hands-on experience, ensuring you stay ahead in the rapidly evolving field. So what are you waiting for? Join our exclusive AI tools workshop today and unlock the full potential of AI. Now let's ramp things up. The game that we have tried was too simple. Let's try to create something a little more challenging like Flappy Bird. So let's ask ChatGPT to build the game and it gave us the code for the game. So let's copy and paste the code in CodePan. So let's copy and paste the code into the CodePan. And as you can see, ChatGPT has given us a very basic version of the game, but it's missing a few features. So let's ask ChatGPT to add some extra features to make it look better and function properly. So currently there aren't guidelines for when the game should start or end. So I am going to specify a few things like the game should start after the click and end if Bert touches the pipes or crosses certain boundaries. And when the game ends, I want a game over notification on the screen along with the retry button. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT to make all these improvements to the game. And look at this. This time it has only provided me the updated JavaScript code. Since I don't know anything about coding, I'm not sure where exactly to make these changes. So I will ask ChatGPT to generate the full code. Now let me quickly copy and paste the code right into the code panel. 
and as you can see the game doesn't start by itself you need to make the first click to start the game and if the bird hits any of these pipes you will see a game over notification on the screen now if we click the retry button we will be back in the game with a fresh start now that the game is working properly next let's see how we can make this game visually stunning to do that i'm going to replace the images of the bird pipes and canvas background by providing image urls then we will also add a scorecard at the top right corner so that whenever we successfully cross a pipe the score increases i am also going to ask chat gpt to give the background a stylish gradient makeover now chat gpt guides us on what we need to do step by step so first we need to get the images so let me just search for the images and download them to my computer now we can't upload these images directly to chat gpt so we need to upload them as links to get these images as a links i am going to use an online tool called post images just upload the image and you will get the image link once we have all the links let's copy and paste them into chat gpt and specify which link corresponds to which image and chat gpt generates the code with updated image links so let's quickly copy and paste them into code pad and as soon as we add the css code you will see that the background has been changed here so once you have got the entire code in place you will see that we have successfully recreated the look of flappy bird game so let's try it out i have to say it's so uh, actually pretty amazing it's pretty incredible to think that we started with absolute no coding knowledge and chat gpt walked us through each and every step okay so now that you have got the code from chat gpt and tested it we can now go to next step which is to save our code to the computer first we need to copy all this code in the notepad so let's open a notepad then copy the html code and save it by the name of index.html it is necessary because then only our app will work in the same way save the css file with the name style.css and do the same with javascript and save it as script.js okay so once you are done we can run the game locally so just go to the folder we have created and if we open this index file you can see that the game runs locally on our browser so now we just save the code to our computer and now the app is working fine now to convert this app into a mobile app first we need to upload the app online so to do that we are going to use a tool called tiny.host so just click the link below this video and it will take you to this website now give a name for your app i am going to enter tic tac to app and this will be the url for your game next we need to upload our app as a zip file so to do that let's uh, compress the files which uh, we have saved on our computer so let's right click on it and then go to send to and click compressed once it's done just drag and drop your zip file here now click on google then log into your google account and our app is live now now if we click on view site you can see our app is live on the internet where we can share it with everyone okay now we successfully hosted our app online once it is done we can now go to the final step which is to convert the web app into the mobile app so to convert it we are going to use a tool called web into app this tool is completely free to use so just click the link below in this video and it will take you to this website now click on get started and here we need to enter the url of our app so to get that let's go to our app copy this url go back and paste it here then enter a name for our app and click next now here we need to add an icon for our app so let's click on the set icon then select the icon click open and icon will be added here once you have added the app icon click on make up then enter these details click on register and again click on make app as you can see we have converted our web app into mobile app so once it is done we can go ahead and download our app so just click here and click download and then click download all files and the app will be downloaded to your computer now we are almost there let's download the tic tac toe game into our phone to do that we need to extract the zip file on our computer so let's open the file which we just downloaded then right click on it click on extract all and click extract now if we open that folder then open the android folder you can see we have the apk file here so once you have got the apk file we can go ahead and install the app on our android phone 
So let's open a new tab, then click here and go to Google Drive. Now drag and drop APK file here and it will be uploaded to the drive. Once it is uploaded, let's download and install the APK file on our phone. So go to Google Drive, open the APK file, click install, click open. And as you can see, our app has been installed on our phone. And in the same way, you can make any app in just few minutes. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can make an app using ChatGPT. I hope you found this journey into the world of AI both informative and inspiring. And if you are interested in creating more advanced games and apps for real life use cases with ChatGPT, don't forget to check out BTNX workshop link in the description below and take your first step towards AI mastery. Until next time, keep learning, keep innovating and keep being 10 times better than yesterday.